Here's a map showing Mexico, a vibrant and diverse country in the southern part of North America. It shares borders with the United States, Guatemala, and Belize. Mexico is the 11th most populous country in the world, with a rich history and culture that spans back to ancient civilizations such as the Mayans and Aztecs. Mexico is a land of incredible natural wonders, with vast deserts, towering mountains and pristine beaches. It is also a land of stark contrasts, with modern cities coexisting alongside ancient ruins and traditional villages. The country is rich in natural resources such as oil, silver and copper, and is the largest producer of silver in the world. However, Mexico is also a land of unspeakable horrors, with a history of drug-related violence and corruption that has left many parts of the country in chaos. It is also a land of seismic activity, with frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions that have shaped the landscape and impacted the people who call this country home. From the mysterious ruins of Teotihuacan to the haunting legends of La Llorona, Mexico is a country full of intrigue and terror. Keep watching as we uncover 15 of the most bone-chilling discoveries that have emerged from the depths of Mexico's past and present, and learn how they have changed our understanding of this fascinating and complex country. Number 15. The Cenote Sacrifice The Cenote Sacrifice in Mexico is a discovery that has left archaeologists awestruck. The ancient Maya civilization used to perform sacrifices by throwing objects and people into cenotes, natural sinkholes filled with water, as part of their religious beliefs. The discovery was made by divers who were exploring the underwater caves in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The sacrificial offerings, including jade and gold artifacts, were discovered at the bottom of the cenote. According to the findings, the Maya performed the sacrifices during times of drought or famine, hoping to appease the gods and bring rainfall. The practice of sacrificing humans was not unique to the Maya civilization, as other Mesoamerican civilizations also carried out similar rituals. The cenote is believed to be over 1,000 years old, and it offers a glimpse into the cultural and religious practices of the ancient Maya. The discovery has also led to a better understanding of the cenote's ecological significance as they were considered sacred sites and were used for ritual purposes. Researchers have been working tirelessly to study the artifacts and bones recovered from the cenote. The discovery provides an opportunity for scientists to learn more about the Maya civilization and their way of life. The cenote sacrifice in Mexico has opened up a new world of possibilities for archaeologists and historians. The find has piqued the interest of scientists worldwide, and the research is ongoing. The discovery has also sparked a renewed interest in the Maya civilization and their culture. In conclusion, the discovery of the cenote sacrifice in Mexico is a significant archaeological find that sheds light on the ancient Maya civilization's religious practices. The discovery also highlights the importance of preserving cultural heritage sites, and further research may reveal more about the Maya civilization's customs and traditions. Number 14. The Aztec Death Whistle The Aztec Death Whistle is a mysterious artifact that has caught the attention of archaeologists and history enthusiasts alike. This eerie whistle was discovered in Mexico in the early 1990s, and since then, it has left many researchers scratching their heads. The whistle is made of clay and is shaped like a human skull, complete with a jawbone and eye sockets. According to Aztec mythology, the death whistle was used during sacrificial rituals to summon the spirit of the god of the underworld, Mictlantecutli. It was also believed to strike fear into the hearts of enemies during battles. The whistle produces a sound that resembles the scream of a dying human, and it is said to be one of the most terrifying sounds ever produced by an instrument. The Aztec death whistle has been the subject of many studies, and researchers have tried to recreate its sound to understand its impact on the Aztec people. The sound is produced by blowing into the mouthpiece of the whistle while covering the holes on the top of the skull. The resulting sound is bone-chilling and can be heard from a distance. In recent years, the Aztec death whistle has gained popularity among musicians and sound designers who use its unique sound in their music and film projects. However, its true purpose and significance in Aztec culture remain a mystery. Many archaeologists believe that the Aztec death whistle was a symbol of power and fear, and it played a crucial role in shaping the culture and beliefs of the Aztec civilization. 
The whistle's design and sound are a testament to the Aztec people's advanced knowledge of acoustics and materials engineering. The discovery of the Aztec death whistle has shed light on the rich history of the Aztec civilization and the beliefs and rituals that shaped their lives. It is a fascinating artifact that continues to captivate researchers and history enthusiasts alike. Who knows what other secrets and mysteries the Aztec death whistle holds? Only time will tell. Number 13. 3,000 year old artifacts discovered. In Mexico City, a recent archaeological discovery has uncovered ancient artifacts that date back over 3,000 years. The items were buried for centuries under a mere three feet of soil, which had been frequently traversed by countless individuals. The discovery was made in Chapultepec Forest, a sprawling 1,695 acre park that is home to numerous tourist attractions, including a zoo, a castle, two lakes, and the National Museum of Anthropology. Chapultepec Forest is recognized as one of the oldest archaeological sites in the Valley of Mexico, an area that served as the hub of various pre-Hispanic civilizations. The recent discovery, which is being touted as the crown jewel, consists of porcelain fragments, human figurines, and a tiny vessel containing remnants of cinnabar. Additionally, the finds include arrowheads, flint tools, an awl made of deer bone, and jadeite. The discovery was made possible through archaeological projects that were supported by Mexico's Secretariat of Culture and carried out by the National Institute of Anthropology in conjunction with infrastructure changes made by the Chapultepec Nature and Culture Project. Although the objects were found in a small section of the park measuring only 124 feet by 78 feet, they were discovered without any disturbance, thanks to the use of a borehole technique. Interestingly, the discovery was made in an area that is unrelated to a burial site, which is unusual for artifacts from this time period. According to Maria de Lourdes Lopez Camacho, the excavation's coordinator, the objects were purposefully shattered and exposed to fire before being placed on a particular type of ceramic floor. The discoveries are significant because they date back to the middle pre-classic period in Mexico, which spans from 1200, 600 BC, and double the estimated age of the Chapultepec forest site. The recent find is the oldest archaeological discovery made in the park to date. With each new discovery, researchers gain a deeper understanding of the region's rich history and cultural heritage. Number 12. The Sacrificial Stone, Stone of Tizoc. The Stone of Tizoc is a fascinating archaeological discovery that has puzzled researchers for decades. This large stone, believed to be from the Aztec civilization, was found in Mexico City in 1791. It is named after Tizoc, an Aztec ruler who reigned from 1481 to 1486. The Stone of Tizoc features intricate carvings and hieroglyphics that depict scenes of warfare, sacrifice and mythology. It is made from volcanic stone and measures over 11 feet in length and over 5 feet in width. The stone's sheer size and complexity have led researchers to believe that it was likely used as an altar or platform for ceremonial purposes. Despite years of study, the true purpose and meaning of the carvings on the Stone of Tizoc remain a mystery. Some researchers believe that the carvings may depict important events in Aztec history or mythology, while others speculate that they may be a form of propaganda meant to glorify the reign of Tizoc. One theory about the Stone of Tizoc is that it may have been used in sacrificial rituals. The Aztecs were known for their practice of human sacrifice, and it is possible that the stone was used as a platform for such rituals. However, there is no concrete evidence to support this theory. Another intriguing aspect of the Stone of Tizoc is its alignment with the stars. The carvings on the stone appear to correspond to the positions of certain stars and constellations, leading some to believe that the stone may have been used for astronomical purposes. Despite its many mysteries, the Stone of Tizoc remains an important artifact of Aztec culture and history. Its intricate carvings and massive size continue to captivate researchers and visitors alike. As with many ancient artifacts, there is still much to be discovered and learned about this fascinating piece of history. Number 11. The Enigmatic Crystal Skulls The enigmatic crystal skulls have been a subject of fascination and mystery for many years. These crystal skulls are believed to have been created by ancient Mesoamerican civilizations, such as the Aztecs and the Maya, using advanced technologies and techniques that still baffle modern-day scientists. 
there are currently several of these crystal skulls in existence, with some being housed in museums and others being held in private collections. However, the origins of these skulls are still shrouded in mystery, with many theories and legends surrounding their creation and purpose. Some legends suggest that the crystal skulls were created as a form of communication with extraterrestrial beings or as a way to harness the power of the universe. Others suggest that they were used as a tool for healing or divination. The skulls have also been associated with mystical powers, including the ability to awaken dormant psychic abilities or to enhance one's connection to the spiritual realm. Despite their mysterious origins and properties, scientists have been able to determine that the crystal skulls are made from various types of quartz crystal, including clear quartz, smoky quartz, and rose quartz. The skulls are also intricately carved, with each one bearing unique features and characteristics. Many of the crystal skulls have also been the subject of controversy, with some skeptics questioning their authenticity and claiming that they are nothing more than modern-day hoaxes. However, studies conducted on some of the skulls have shown that they are indeed ancient artifacts, with some being dated back to as early as the 15th century. In recent years, the crystal skulls have gained popularity, with many people seeking to unlock their secrets and harness their mystical powers. Some even believe that the skulls hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe and unlocking the secrets of human consciousness. While the origins and purpose of the crystal skulls may never be fully understood, their enigmatic nature and mysterious properties continue to captivate and intrigue people from all walks of life. Number 10. The Church of Santa Muerte The Church of Santa Muerte, also known as the Holy Death, is a unique place with a controversial history. It is located in Tultitlan, Mexico, and attracts thousands of followers who believe in the deity's power to grant miracles and protect them from harm. Despite being considered as a dark cult by some, the church's followers believe that Santa Muerte provides hope and solace for those who are marginalized and oppressed. The church's unique architecture, which features an imposing figure of Santa Muerte, is enough to catch anyone's attention. The church's design is meant to inspire awe and convey the deity's power to its worshippers. The church is filled with candles, flowers and other offerings left by the followers as a sign of their devotion. The history of the church is a mix of fact and fiction. According to some sources, the cult of Santa Muerte has been around since the Aztecs. However, it gained popularity in the 20th century, particularly during the drug wars in Mexico. The cult was believed to have helped drug cartels in their illegal activities, leading the Mexican government to crack down on the church. Despite the controversy surrounding the church, its followers remain steadfast in their belief in Santa Muerte's power. They pray for protection, good health, and financial stability, among other things. The church's influence has even spread beyond Mexico, with some followers in the United States and other countries. The church of Santa Muerte may be shrouded in mystery and controversy, but it is undoubtedly a unique and fascinating place to visit. Its followers' unwavering faith in Santa Muerte's power is a testament to the human need for hope and solace, even in the darkest of times. Whether you believe in the deity's power or not, the church's imposing figure and architecture are sure to leave an impression on anyone who visits. Number 9. The Witchcraft Market The Witchcraft Market, also known as Mercado de Sonora, is a unique place in Mexico where you can find anything related to witchcraft, black magic and esotericism. The market is located in Mexico City and attracts thousands of visitors every year. The market is also known for its unique and mysterious atmosphere, which makes it an ideal destination for anyone interested in the occult. The witchcraft market has a rich history, dating back to the Aztec era. The market was once used as a place for the Aztecs to trade herbs, roots and other items used in their shamanic rituals. Over time, the market evolved to become a hub for witchcraft, attracting vendors who sold everything from love potions to cursed dolls. Today, the market is home to over 300 vendors who sell a wide variety of items, including herbs, oils, crystals, tarot cards and spellbooks. Visitors can also find a range of exotic animals, including snakes, lizards and even tarantulas, which are used in various rituals. The witchcraft market is not just a place to buy items for practicing witchcraft, but also a place to learn about the occult. Many of the vendors are experts in their field and are happy to share their knowledge with visitors. There are also several workshops and classes offered at the market, 
covering topics such as tarot card reading and spellcasting. The market is not just a tourist attraction, but also a spiritual hub for many Mexicans who practice witchcraft. The market is particularly busy during the Day of the Dead celebrations, when many Mexicans visit the market to purchase items for their altars. Despite its popularity, the market has faced criticism from some religious groups who view it as promoting satanic practices. However, the market remains a vital part of Mexican culture and an important destination for anyone interested in the occult. In conclusion, the witchcraft market is a fascinating destination for anyone interested in the occult. Its rich history, unique atmosphere and range of offerings make it an essential stop for anyone visiting Mexico City. Whether you are a seasoned practitioner of witchcraft or just curious about the occult, the witchcraft market has something to offer. Number 8. The Pyramid of the Sun The Pyramid of the Sun, also known as the Pyramid del Sol in Spanish, is one of the most fascinating and mysterious ancient structures in Mexico. This imposing structure is located in Teotihuacan, an ancient Mesoamerican city that flourished between the 1st and 7th centuries AD. The Pyramid of the Sun was built around 200 AD and is believed to have been a place of worship for the ancient Teotihuacan civilization. The Pyramid of the Sun is the third largest pyramid in the world, standing at 216 feet tall and covering an area of over 320,000 square feet. Its sheer size and the precision of its construction have fascinated archaeologists and tourists alike for centuries. The pyramid's base is aligned with the cardinal points, and its construction involved the use of millions of adobe bricks. The purpose of the Pyramid of the Sun remains a mystery to this day, but some experts believe that it was used for religious ceremonies and astronomical observations. Others speculate that it served as a burial site for important figures in the Teotihuacan civilization. The pyramid's central location in the city suggests that it played a significant role in the social and political life of the ancient Teotihuacan people. In recent years, Archaeologists have made several fascinating discoveries related to the Pyramid of the Sun. In 2017, a team of archaeologists found a hidden tunnel beneath the pyramid, which they believe may have been used for ritual purposes. The tunnel contains offerings and artifacts, including pottery, obsidian knives, and even human remains. The discovery of the tunnel has led to new theories about the pyramid's use and significance. Visitors to the Pyramid of the Sun can climb to the top for a breathtaking view of the surrounding landscape. The climb can be steep and challenging, but the reward is worth it. From the top of the pyramid, visitors can see the nearby Pyramid of the Moon, as well as the ruins of other ancient structures in Teotihuacan. The Pyramid of the Sun is a must-see for anyone interested in ancient history and archaeology. In conclusion, the Pyramid of the Sun is a fascinating and mysterious structure, that continues to capture the imagination of people around the world. Its massive size and precision construction make it a testament to the ingenuity of the ancient Teotihuacan civilization. As archaeologists continue to uncover new information about this ancient city and its structures, we may one day unravel the secrets of the Pyramid of the Sun. Number 7. The Mummies of Guanajuato The Mummies of Guanajuato are one of the most unusual tourist attractions in Mexico. This place has gained popularity among tourists because of its strange and creepy aura. It's a museum that displays mummies, but not the traditional mummies you see in ancient Egypt. The mummies here are preserved in a unique way. They were naturally mummified due to the dry climate of the region, and their preserved bodies offer a unique insight into the lives of the people who once lived in this region. The mummies were discovered in the late 19th century in a cemetery in Guanajuato, Mexico. The mummies are believed to be the remains of people who died between the 1830s and 1950s. The cemetery was overcrowded, and many of the bodies had to be exhumed to make room for new burials. During the exhumation process, the workers discovered that some of the bodies had been naturally mummified. The mummies were then put on display, and they have been on display ever since. The mummies are displayed in different poses, some sitting, others lying down. The most famous of them is the mummy known as the Remembrance, which is displayed in a glass case. The Remembrance is a mummy of a little girl who died during a cholera outbreak in the late 19th century. The mummy's expression is said to be one of sadness, hence the name The Remembrance. Visitors to the museum can take a guided tour to learn about the history of the mummies and the people behind them. 
The museum also has a gift shop where visitors can purchase souvenirs, including miniature replicas of the mummies. The mummies of Guanajuato may not be for the faint-hearted, but it is an interesting and unique experience. It's a glimpse into the past, into the lives of the people who once lived in this region. The museum has become an important part of the culture and history of Guanajuato, and it attracts visitors from all over the world who want to see these unusual mummies. If you're ever in Guanajuato, it's definitely worth a visit. Number 6. The Haunting Legends of La Llorona La Llorona, or the Weeping Woman, is a legendary figure that has haunted Mexican folklore for centuries. The story tells of a woman who drowned her children in a fit of jealousy and grief after her husband left her for another woman. Overwhelmed by remorse, she threw herself into the river, where she was swept away by the current. But her spirit remained, and she now wanders the earth, searching for her lost children and weeping uncontrollably. La Llorona's legend is so well known that it has become a part of popular culture in Mexico and the United States, inspiring movies, books, and even songs. But the legend is not just a tale to be told around a campfire. Many people claim to have seen La Llorona or heard her cries, especially near bodies of water such as rivers, lakes, and even fountains. One of the most famous sightings of La Llorona occurred in the 1800s, in the small town of Santa Fe, New Mexico. According to the legend, a woman dressed in white was seen wandering the streets, crying out for her lost children. Some say that she even appeared in people's homes, searching for her babies. Her ghost is still said to haunt the town today, and many people claim to have heard her cries at night. Another popular version of the legend tells of a woman who appears to children playing near the river, luring them away with her cries. Some say that she even drowns the children, just as she did her own, and that their spirits join hers in her eternal search for redemption. The legend of La Llorona is a haunting reminder of the dangers of jealousy and the consequences of our actions. It is also a testament to the enduring power of folklore to capture our imaginations and keep us enthralled to the mysteries of the past. Whether she is real or not, La Llorona's legend will continue to haunt us, reminding us of the dark side of the human heart and the power of the supernatural to capture our fears and our imaginations. Number 5. The Tula Archaeological Site The Tula Archaeological Site, located in the Mexican state of Hidalgo, is a remarkable testament to the ancient civilization of the Toltecs. The Toltecs were a pre-Columbian civilization that flourished between the 9th and 12th centuries AD in central Mexico. They were known for their artistic achievements, including their distinctive stone sculptures, and were also skilled architects and engineers. The Tula archaeological site is one of the most significant Toltec sites in Mexico. It contains the ruins of a once thriving city, complete with temples, palaces and ball courts. The site is known for its impressive stone columns, which are carved with intricate Toltec designs and motifs. The most famous of these columns is the Atlantean figures, which stand over four meters tall and depict warrior figures in ornate dress. Excavations at the site have revealed much about Toltec life and culture. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence of human sacrifice, including the remains of sacrificed children, as well as artifacts such as pottery, jewellery, and tools. The site also contains a number of ball courts, which were used for the popular Toltec sport of Ulama, a kind of handball played with a rubber ball. The Tula archaeological site is also surrounded by fascinating myths and legends. According to one legend, the city was founded by a warrior hero named C.E. Akatl Topiltsin Quetzalcoatl, who was believed to be a god in human form. Other legends suggest that the site was the birthplace of the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl. Visitors to the Tula archaeological site can explore the ruins of the city and learn about Toltec history and culture. The site is also surrounded by beautiful countryside and is a popular destination for hikers and nature lovers. With its rich history and natural beauty, the Tula archaeological site is a must-see destination for anyone interested in the ancient civilizations of Mexico. Number 4. The Temple of the Flayed God The Temple of the Flayed God is a unique archaeological site located in Mexico. This ancient temple is believed to have been built by the Aztecs between the 12th and 15th centuries. The temple gets its name from the Aztec deity Zaip Totec, who was known as the Flayed God. 
Zyptotec was associated with renewal, fertility, and agriculture, and his worship involved the ritual flaying of human sacrificial victims. The temple's ruins were discovered in the early 20th century and have since been studied by archaeologists. The temple's structure is composed of several layers, with the topmost layer being a circular temple dedicated to Zyptotec. The temple was built using volcanic stone and has elaborate carvings depicting the deity and various sacrificial victims. The temple's lower levels are composed of a series of chambers and underground tunnels, which were used for various purposes. Some of these tunnels led to the nearby river, which was likely used for ritual purification. Other chambers were used for storing offerings and sacrificial implements. The discovery of the Temple of the Flayed God sheds light on the Aztec civilization and their religious practices. It also provides valuable insight into the history of Mexico and the indigenous cultures that once thrived there. Today, the temple serves as a popular tourist destination and an important cultural landmark. If you're planning a trip to Mexico, be sure to add the Temple of the Flayed God to your itinerary. It's an unforgettable experience that offers a glimpse into a fascinating and ancient world. Number 3. The Tomb of the Red Queen The Tomb of the Red Queen is one of Mexico's most intriguing archaeological sites. Discovered in 1994, this tomb lies beneath the Temple of the Inscriptions in Palenque, Mexico. The tomb dates back to the Mayan civilization, which flourished between the 3rd and 9th centuries AD. The tomb's name comes from the red pigment that covers the walls and floors of the tomb. The tomb's inhabitant, Queen Tsakbu Ajar, was found adorned with precious jewels and intricate headgear. The walls were adorned with hieroglyphics that tell the story of the queen's life and her journey to the underworld. The discovery of the Tomb of the Red Queen has provided valuable insights into the Mayan civilization's political, cultural and religious practices. The hieroglyphics reveal that Queen Ta'akbu Ajar was married to King Pakal the Great, who is considered one of the most important rulers of the Mayan civilization. Archaeologists also found several artifacts, including pottery and jewellery, that were buried alongside the queen. These objects shed light on the Mayans' intricate funeral rituals, and their beliefs in the afterlife. The Tomb of the Red Queen is now a popular tourist attraction, with visitors coming from all over the world to see the impressive archaeological site. Tourists can explore the Temple of the Inscriptions and walk through the underground tomb to get a glimpse of Mayan history and culture. The discovery of the Tomb of the Red Queen has provided valuable insights into the Mayan civilization and its practices, making it an essential site for archaeologists and historians. If you're planning a trip to Mexico, be sure to add this archaeological site to your itinerary for a fascinating glimpse into the past. Number 2. The Aztec Sacrificial Tower In the heart of Mexico City lies an ancient Aztec sacrificial tower. This tower, believed to have been built around the 14th century, was used for ritual sacrifices to the Aztec gods. It is estimated that thousands of individuals were sacrificed on this tower to appease the gods of war, sun, and rain. The tower is a massive structure, standing at over 60 feet tall, with multiple tiers for the sacrificial ceremonies. The Aztec sacrificial tower was discovered in the early 20th century, and since then, it has been a major attraction for tourists and historians. Visitors can climb the steps to the top of the tower, where the altar once stood, and imagine the gruesome scenes that took place there. Number 1. Mysterious Ruins of Teotihuacan Teotihuacan is one of the most mysterious ancient ruins in the world, located just outside of Mexico City. This city, which means the place where the gods were created, was built around 100 BCE and thrived for hundreds of years before its sudden abandonment in the 7th century CE. The purpose of the city and the identity of its builders remain shrouded in mystery with many theories suggesting that it may have been a religious center, a hub of trade, or even a multi-ethnic city-state. One of the most enigmatic features of Teotihuacan is its monumental pyramids. The Pyramid of the Sun is the largest structure in the city, measuring 216 feet in height and covering an area of over 10 acres. Its counterpart, the Pyramid of the Moon, is equally impressive, rising 140 feet into the sky. Both pyramids were aligned with celestial bodies and served as a focal point for religious ceremonies. Another intriguing aspect of Teotihuacan 
is the discovery of a network of underground tunnels beneath the city. These tunnels, which were only recently discovered, are thought to have been used for religious ceremonies and possibly even human sacrifice. Some of the tunnels lead to chambers containing murals and artifacts that shed light on the city's cultural and religious practices. Teotihuacan's intricate carvings and murals also provide insight into the daily life of its inhabitants. Depictions of animals, plants and deities adorn the walls of the city's temples and residential buildings, giving clues to the city's culture, religion and economy. One of the most famous murals is the Paradise of Tlaloc, which portrays the god of rain and fertility presiding over a bountiful landscape. Despite centuries of study, Teotihuacan remains a mystery, with many unanswered questions about its origins, purpose and demise. Excavations and research continue to shed new light on this ancient city, but the secrets of Teotihuacan may never be fully revealed, adding to its allure and mystique. A visit to Teotihuacan is a journey into the unknown, where the whispers of the past echo through the ruins and the enigma of the city lingers in the air. Tell us in the comments below which discovery you found the most interesting.